I'm Coach Zach, and this is Critical Bench. Today we're going to be talking about why you should be breathing with your diaphragm as opposed to your chest. Now in our modern society, we tend to get stressed really easily and overwhelmed because we're always doing something. We always got to be somewhere. We're always on the go. And when we do this, our breathing becomes automatic and we take that for granted. And then you see people and we're very, we breathe up here, up in the chest. Now the problem with breathing up in your chest is that at the top of your lungs you have fear receptors. So when you're constantly breathing at the top of your chest, you're in constant fight or flight mode and you're always fearing something. Now if you can get the oxygen down into your diaphragm, this immediately calms you down. At the bottom of your lungs you have calming receptors which release the calming hormones. So when you get oxygen all the way down to the bottom of your lungs, you immediately go into the rest or digest or the parasympathetic nervous system. Your diaphragm is a thin layer of muscle which separates your chest from your abdomen. Now when you breathe using your diaphragm, when you inhale the diaphragm moves down which pushes your internal organs out which explains why your belly comes out. Now, your diaphragm can become weak if it's not used that much. And then you see that with people, they don't really know how to use their diaphragm. They don't know how to breathe with their belly. So you have to retrain your body to be breathing properly. If you watch a baby or an infant laying down, you will notice that they automatically breathe with their diaphragm. Their belly moves in and out smoothly as they breathe in and out through their nose. This is the proper way that human beings are meant to breathe. But because we're always stuck up here, we're always analyzing, we're always doing something, we're always in fight or flight, we're always up here. All right, so now I'm gonna show you a couple techniques that will allow you to breathe better with your belly. Let's get down to the floor. So first, just grab a book. You know, the, the thicker the book, the harder the exercise is. So you can start out with a smaller book. Lay down completely. Set the book down on your belly and just relax for a moment. Completely exhale out. And then with your inhale, inhale with your belly and allow the book to come up. And then with the exhale, allow the book to come back down. Now you're not forcefully pressing the book out with your muscles. You're just allowing the inhale and the exhale to do it all on its own. Now once you graduate from using a book and you want a little bit more of a challenge and a little bit more of a diaphragm workout, you can use a weight. Like a 10 pound plate, 25 pound, depending on the strength of your diaphragm, depends on what you'll be using. Same thing, just place the weight on your belly, completely relax your body, and then with the inhale, Allow the weight to come up, and with the exhale, the weight to come down. Try doing this every day, and you will notice a difference on how you breathe as you go about your day. So now that we've strengthened our diaphragm, we're going to loosen it up a little bit so it moves more freely. So just take a standing position, relax your body, and then find where your ribs are. Trace your ribs down. They come down at an angle. Right underneath your rib cage is where your diaphragm is. And then you're just going to give yourself a little massage, just with your fingers, nothing too hard. You're just going to gently massage your diaphragm. Doing this will allow your diaphragm to get more blood flow to it, to loosen it up and allow it to move more freely. Try doing this even before you do the book on the belly or the weight on the belly. This will really allow you to breathe down into your belly. The way you breathe affects the way you feel and perform on a day-to-day -day basis. So really become more mindful of the way you breathe and start to train your diaphragm to be able to breathe down into your belly and get to those calming receptors so you feel more loose and you're more in the flow in your life. If you want to get more advice and more tips on how to improve your overall health and wellness, 
please subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you have any questions about breathing with your diaphragm or these techniques or anything else, leave a comment and I'll get back to you.